Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Microbes and Machines, a twin stick action roguelite you can pick up for only a dollar on Steam. Technically, 84 cents right now if you're watching when the video comes out. But in, we're going to go to check this one out here today. Uh, I believe it's very uh, focused on the growth aspect, kind of like the meta progression in between each run. You will have a character that does level up. You will pick a perk whenever you level up, uh, I believe among three, but it will stay with your character kind of forever. So you're slowly getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's one of those, one of those. So in we go here. What do we got here? Okay, timer, looks like a speedrun timer. I would imagine that this is maybe like different guns. But we start out at level one, so I yeah, I think it's kind of like the rogue legacy angle where the game is supposed to be very, very brutal, but you kind of have this sort of meta build that you will be getting over the course of time, which I'm curious to see, because normally I'm not a meta progression guy, but this angle on it seems different. Uh, to me, which I, I, do, I really do need to take a take a peek. What the heck do we got here? Uh, plus search. The hell is this? Should I be shooting this? Oh my god. Okay, I think that's just like a bunch of... What I can only imagine is experience. I got an achievement called Booger Pizza, so... I, you know... I'm assuming that that's going to be like a, a bullet speed up. Do we, what do we have? Potentially. All right. I mean, okay. I feel like I let's fight some enemies first. How about that? So we, it looks like if we, yeah, look at it. If we hold down fire, we get kind of locked out of shooting. Kind of want to tap fire it a little bit more. So here, anything with these? Nope. But I'm very curious to see what kind of ooh, what kind of upgrades we might get. Oh my god, okay. What kind of upgrades we might get on level? Are they like HP, you know? I saw the uh, the preview trailer seemed to be like, you know, shooting a bunch of bullets. They had some kind of active item they were throwing. I don't know. I'm curious how wild it can get. Oh my god. So, I, I mean, I imagine that's the boss. What the hell? Ooh, shotgun, son of a gun. I think if that's a shield on those as well. Is there anything I can do with right click? Not at the moment. Circle stripe, circle stripe, circle stripe. But I don't know how far... Combo times two. I don't know how far we're, like, intended to get. I don't know what, what kind of game it is like that. More booger pizza. I mean, is this going to just be a level up? Almost. Almost a level up. Holy what? That son of a gun is a dasher. Okay, we take a hell of a lot of damage. Okay. Increase your maximum dodge. Oh. Maximum life immunity increases your... Oh. Immunity time after taking damage. Let's go with more dodge. Maximum power went up to 25. Ah, I didn't even know we had like a uh, max cap on our dodge. Which means we probably shouldn't have upgraded it, but you know, whatever. Did they repopulate this room? It seems they might have. I'm going to assume that that's damage. I don't know. Do we... Uh, my gut tells me don't go towards the boss right off the bat, right? One would assume, one would assume. Hello there. You know what? I'm going to go towards the boss. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go do it. Maybe we can just... Oh, boy. We'll move our way generally there. Like, we're probably going to die before that anyways. Looking at, ooh, how much damage I take and the fact that I don't know how to recuperate health. Also, we have we have nine keys? What? Why, why, why do we have nine keys? Damage upgrades, maybe? I'm assuming that that might be what that is. Okay, up towards 
Let's go up towards the question mark and the boss. Whoa. What did I just do? Did I just did I just accidentally scroll right through all the way through the room? Combo. Where the hell where was that? Where is that? I need to know. It seems like it's maybe the one that's all the way up there. I'm not- I don't think I'm supposed to be able to see that right now. But again, 84 cent game. Like, it's, you know. I am- You know, I'm, I'm always gonna be a, a lot less, uh, critical on a game when it approaches it at that price range. Cause you're just like, ooh! This is supposed to just be like a bite-sized kind of a thing, you know? Oh boy. So that was a chest and it had Four keyholes. Oh boy. So that's why we're getting so many keys, is because the chests aren't just one key to open. Damage up? Do it. Magic wand accompanies the player and damages enemies and extracts XP cells. Okay. Uh. Wait, so when does it come out? Whenever I... Whenever I shoot? It seems like when I shoot, it comes out. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, okay, this is the boss. Oh, boy. Oh, word. What? He te <laughs> teleported on me! You jerk! Okay, room's cleared. Wait. Uh, it thinks I cleared a lot of rooms. I d <laughs> okay, so this is indeed damage. Dodge up by five, HP up by ten. I mean, I want I want more damage. Honestly, things are dying pretty slow. Go for that. Critical damage. Throw. Wait. Throws confetti. Throws out life cells every time you level up. It doesn't feel like that will happen that often in a run. Base weapon damage up. Don't mind if I do. Increase the amount of bullets fired. That seems like a must take. Amount of useful life of items. I mean... Okay, yeah, I think I, I think something happened that with the, the scrolling of the rooms that I, I broke quite a bit. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with it. It's kind of like we get to uh, we get to skip ahead a little bit in the meta progress, kind of, and uh, I'm fine with that to showcase the video a little bit more. I'll try. I'm not gonna abuse this stuff, but ooh, yep, 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 yep. We're doing damage now, but honestly, we're not even killing like we're still not even killing that fast, and we've not gone for any kind of safety angle. Okay, two keys. Accompanies the player and damages enemies. Can we have both? Oh, this is temporary. The the little follower thing is a temporary thing. Should we go for the bot? Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. And inevitably die, right? Okay. Alright, just watch out for that... Whatever that teleport thing was. Whoo! Oh my word! This is actually a kind of cool fight. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, okay, okay. Where'd that line gonna go be? I'm just waiting, waiting for the teleport, waiting for the line blast. It did not come. This phase is easier. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. I don't know. I don't know what that stat is. But there's something that's kind of fun about not knowing. Okay, yeah, we can't. Cannot go back. There's something that's kind of fun about not knowing and, like, having to sort of explore and learn. Oh, we do have an extra floor. Probably gonna get wrecked here, but hey. That's fine. 
Oh boy. Okay, so that guy's got a shield? So I think this ice is coming from my, whatever, my frozen popsicle thing. If I were to take an educated guess. Run, run. In fact, that seems like that's maybe what the blue on them is. I don't think it's a shield. I think that's them taking damage over time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back it up, back it up, back it up. It's like a frost damage over time thing. Okay, okay, back it up, 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 back it up. Uh, automatically uses if below 50% health. Okay. I'm assuming that's another temp item. Like, I think anything you find in those chests are temporary items. Any of those stat upgrades seem to be permanent gets, maybe? Maybe. Maybe those stat upgrades are temporary, too, when you find them there. It, I think the, the level up stuff is permanent, though. That much is for sure. 100%. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Oh, boy. Otherwise, we wouldn't be this strong. Did we just go fight the other... Whoa, what have I done? Did we just go fight the other boss? Maybe? Oh, I didn't do anything. I just, I traversed one room down. That's what I did. It just looked like I did something crazy. I was like, I swear I wasn't trying to break the game again. Leveling up takes a long time normally. Like, uh, through, through standard means, it seems like it takes quite a while. Oh, God, do I... Do it, I, mean, I feel like I kind of want to farm in this area. I would assume that we probably get more. More experience, right? I think we're pretty low down the combo sort of level up. But I guess we don't really need to think about the level up in the terms of, like, I need to level up on this run. That's It's such a bigger thing. Like, whenever we hit that level up, we're, we're stronger forever. It's it's full on it's full on meta progress, but it, what I kind of like about it compared to other other roguelikes roguelites that do it is the progress does happen inside the run, and you pick your perk inside the run the way you kind of do almost in like arena survival roguelikes, like a vampire survivors or something like that. You will you pick it. You pick your meta progress the way you pick your temporary progress in games like those, which is, I think, honestly, a much fresher take on it and way more my jam if I if I were to go for it. But again, like you know what you're getting into when you when you pick this this kind of game up. Oh my god, you're you're in it for the uh, the RPG grind. It's like it's less a roguelike and more of a. Um, well, wow, that's more of a roguelite. No, less of a roguelite and more more of like an RPG. Ooh. I mean, increase the amount of bullets fired. Duh. Right? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go for any of that other garbage when I can just fire an entire extra bullet. I didn't even look. I saw one was a shield. I couldn't care less, man. I think we fight the boss. Let's go fight the boss. Let's do it. I would imagine the boss gives a lot of experience anyways. Hello there. The little version of this guy looked like a, um... They shot out shotguns. Oh, I thought that was my thing. Hello, Mr. Metroid. Ooh, boy, 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 boy. Okay, we want to get rid of those ads very, very quickly, I think. Not good. Not good, not good. What the hell? What the hell? What's their HP? Are they restoring health? No. They're... <laughs> Wait, those went away? You jerk. You freaking jerk. This stuff disappears so quickly. Like, you, you kind of have to get a meta progress perk, I guess. Professional achievement. 
Collect 10 keys. Bring 10 keys to the next level. Oh my god. I didn't mean to. I'm actually kind of... I'm very pleasantly surprised that the game does have extra floors that all have different enemies on them. Like, I know it's... It's not like a, that crazy of a thing to want out of a roguelite, but I guess just for a dollar, I'm just impressed. <laughs> I'm just impressed. It's very, um, whoa. But, you know, I think it's a smart call, but also, hey, you know, like I think you could charge, you could charge more. And that's all the more reason why it's a smart choice. I, I think it's a very easy justification to pick it up. Even somebody like me who typically does not go for the meta progress heavy stuff is like, I mean, for a buck, I'll, I, yeah, absolutely, I'll play this. For a buck, of course. Are you kidding me? Whoop, just for, like, kind of getting almost the rogue legacy element out of it. Okay, what do we got here? So do we get this as well? Or No, that's what I thought. We, we have to pick between the two. And extracts XP cells. I mean, so this one is better for, like, getting more levels, then. Ooh, if we wanted to level up faster, get stronger quicker, we'd go for that. The next perk that makes, um, drops last longer, I honestly might go for. Ooh, oh. oh, we just, like, straight up can't get up that way? Let's just go fight Mr. Bose. I mean, I'm level 7. I'm trying to think. Like, I, I went up to, like, level 5. It's really, like, not that much of a jump, really. Like, I don't think. Hello there. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to die. Oh, my word. This son of a gun looks like a last boss looking fool. Holy moly. Okay, I would like that experience, but I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling like I want to get up in melee range. Oh, damage upgrade. I mean, I don't... I don't know, man. I think I'm fine. I don't think I'm going to die here. Oh, okay. There's a shotgun boy. That actually was a big surprise. That fool almost got me. So your thing is that you're kind of a summoner, I suppose, huh? Go, 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 go. They go away. Increase your critical damage. Maximum life. More damage. More damage. What the hell? Detonating everything. What is that achievement? Finish a level without taking any damage. <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, that's pretty good, right? That's the thing. I guess I don't know how weak I am in the, like, the defensive department because I, I didn't get hit there. Like, like, I'm building glass cannon, but that's kind of how I like to play games. So I sort of like that I... The game can reward you in that sense where... You know, if, you, if you're given the options... Oh, boy! Like, the meta progress, you don't get a pick as well. That's kind of nice. How it's not like... You have a perfect flow chart where it's like, first pick up this, then pick up that, then pick up this, then pick up that. You kind of have to roll with the punches on each, like, so, separate save file. Well, no perfect there. And I think that that's actually kind of interesting and, and also novel. Sort of like a... It's it's almost like it's a procedurally generated skill tree, you know? Booger pizza. I'm just going to keep on rushing down the boss until I until the game finally kills me. Wouldn't mind going to pick up a chest or so, though. Oh, boy. I'm also struggling to believe that uh, the multi-bullet upgrade it really is just, like, double and tripling your upgrade. Oh, my God. 
I know I st I know I said it, but this is just more bullets. That's going to be, of course, that's going to be my build that I go for if I can help it. I'm going to go back and uh, get a chest or something. This is the glass cannon action I'm into. Look at that. There's more bullets. And theoretically, this is how strong my guy is forever, right? Like, that's the idea? There's a little pocket of or, or question marks down there. Kind of want to go for those. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of dodge. Okay. Do we already have one of those? Oh, wait, did I use one? Maybe I used it. Boop. Boop. But I'm imagining the game, like, with some kind of an update down the line that had, like, more passive and things like that and, like, kind of quirkier, weirder upgrades. Oh, boy. Uh, what the hell do I do here? How do I... I have to get in? No, I can, sh I can shoot him on the side. Okay. Can I? Can I? It sure looks like I have to shoot him there. I think that they take more damage if I shoot him in the middle, but I can technically shoot him on the outside. Seems to be the case. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think they're they're just more more vulnerable inside. Get the ads. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Did we... Oh, we... Yeah, we popped. We popped our, uh, our shield thing. I want that. I want that, but I'm not going to kill myself over it. Oh, my God. See, like, going for experience lasts longer with whatever the heck this uh, this star thing is. Seems like it'd be really good. Magnetism. Immunity time after taking damage. Give me, Yeah, give me magnetism. If I can't get the uh, things lasting longer. How many floors do they have in this? This is wild. This seems... Ready for the next one? Wait, what is this thing? New weapon unlocked. New little toy achievement. Gained a level point you will receive when you start a new game. Oh, wait. Oh my god, this game has meta meta progress? This game did meta-meta progress? What the hell? So when you start a whole new game, you start with an extra level. Oh, I beat it. I beat the whole thing. Let's go. Uh. Right? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Behind us. What's going on behind that? Hold on. Why are you hiding all that? What are you hiding back there? What is that? Um. Is this like how many times we have to beat it or something? Like what's going on with the, what is happening here? Let's go back to the menu. Let's figure that out here for sure. What's going on here? So these are all these sort of achievements. Reach level 80. Having a lot of fun. Butts <laughs> for dinner. A new skin. Another boss in the area. Unlock an optional boss. Huh. Okay, well here, let's go in. We're level 10 on this one. So I'd imagine we are we have the same strength then. But I wonder, yeah, I wonder what's up with, like... Okay. Okay, what is this thing? What the heck? Ooh. <laughs> okay, it kind of shoots out, like, weird bubble bursts. But we definitely have the same strength. I guess what would the, uh, the, the impetus to play more would then be... 
Just getting even more levels or... Oh, okay. So we get another level at the start of a run? More bullet. More bullet. If it's, op it's, a, if it's an option, I'm picking more bullet. I don't know about this gun, though. This gun feels strange. Like, I don't even feel particularly that s much stronger than I sort of did in, like, the final zone of the last one. It seems like maybe these enemies got stronger. Right? Like, otherwise, you would think they would melt, right? Theoretically. And, and they kind of are. But I feel like with the amount of damage and everything I'm doing to them... Ooh. Oh boy. God, I... Oh, I hate this gun, actually. I think I actually hate it. Oh boy. But yeah, it seems as though something something is happening with it. Where, like, what happens if I get hit? Yeah, I still take a, quite a bit of damage. I mean, the character's not that strong defensively. I got whatever that one is. I don't remember what the pointer finger would be. Okay, extra life bubble. I'll take it. I think. Did I? Let's go fight Mr. Boss. Let's go fight Mr. Boss. Oh. Get the bubbles, get the bubbles, get the bubbles. Doink. I feel like I would want... Uh, bullet regen, which, like, whatever that would be. Reloads, I guess it would be called probably reload speed. Increase the amount of items dropped by enemies. Increase base weapon damage. Lol. Lol. Glass cannon. Oh, boy. Ow. Okay, let's, let's perfect the boss. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's like I'm not even as strong as I thought I might be. The reload is brutal. Wait, when did I get the star? Did it not go away because I uh, didn't die? Okay. Oh, please. Please. Oh, do I... Maybe I break bullets with it. Is that what's happening? Is that why this gun is... Not as bad, like, uh, not as bad as I thought. No, we definitely don't break bullets with it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Please. There we go. Is there no achievement for beating that guy without getting hit? Or did I just get hit? Maybe I just got hit. There's like, eh, you know, that's whatever. Or maybe I even did it. Huh. Either way, uh, very, very neat. Very, very neat. I, I do think that that's, you know, don't want <laughs> to spoil it any more than I already have by just g going through the whole darn thing. Uh, but yeah, if you're going for a game with an angle like this, I mean, again, not that for a buck, like, honestly, if it looks fun, just totally for a buck, just play it, play it, get it, get yourself unbelievably strong over the course of time. Just like play a little run, play a quick 15, 10, 15 minute run in the, in the morning. See how much silly stronger you get over the course of time. It seems like I would imagine it just keeps on climbing. Um, but I do hope that the difficulty keeps on climbing with it to an extent as well. But that, that's always the weird thing with these things where they have meta progress uh, that goes on for a long, long time or or potentially forever. Um, is I, I feel like you need like a finite amount of, uh, of difficulty systems, sort of. Otherwise, infinite difficulty just never, never can really go well in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, like having just different sliders where you're like, I want to play the base game or I want to play the next highest difficulty uh, or something like that. Or I want to play the base game or I want to play the similarly infinitely scaling difficulty mode, uh, which would be very hard to balance. But I think that if there was ever any kind of an update to the game, I think that that would be the thing that would probably support it the most. Though, very interesting, very neat. Microbes and Machines, you can pick it up now on Steam for, uh, currently, if you, you know, let's see, when is the, when is the sale end? 
Like, not that it really... Yeah, sale ends on September 10th to get it for 84 cents instead of 99 cents. So if you're really itching to save that uh, that 15 cents, make sure you pick it up before the 10th. Otherwise, you can pick it up for 99 cents. Uh, but last, last, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Rush Major. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, then this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Like I said, roguelikes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!